Okay, I just wanted to take a few seconds to show you a few more tips and still clips. Like I said earlier, you can, like this was too big and I made it fit in the screen. Well, the same thing works with uh, images that are too small. You can click on it, choose right click, scale to frame size, and at least makes it fit top and bottom right there to make it work. Now I mentioned in the examples the uh, Ken Burns effect where the image looks like it's coming at you or uh, zooming out. The way you do that is if you double click on the image and go to the source panel and then go to the effect controls. If you go under motion, if you've ever done like Adobe uh, Flash or After Effects, you got keyframes. Now I'm going to adjust the scale. So what I need to do is click on the little toggle animation and it creates what you call a keyframe. That's a frame, a state like point A. Now further down the timeline at the end, see the playheads at the end, is point B. I'm going to click this add keyframe. Now you can't see, you can see a little bit of it right there. Now what I want it to do is zoom in. So I'm going to click and drag that up. And you might even could position. So watch. Now I want to create a keyframe for position right there as well. And move that back down. So and then keyframe and move that up. So there. So it kind of that's where you want it. So if you if you want to change the position, you create a keyframe. If you want to change the size, you create a keyframe from point A to point B. Now you could even like rotate it or make it change the opacity, which is uh, make it see through to kind of kind of make it fade in to, to kind of blend. But that that applies to video. Like let's do this one. I'm going to right click and scale that to frame size, make it bigger, and go to effect controls, motion, scale. I'm going to go to the first frame, create a keyframe, go to the last one right here, keyframe. there so so you can make it go as fast or slow as you want all right so let's watch how some of this plays out so there you go now you can do the same thing with the text now I can add transitions as well like video transitions you can make it dissolve like the title dissolve in see how it dissolves in or I can do it manually with the title whoops I can I got under effect controls change opacity I got point A now I want I'm about this point to be fully visible right there. So I'm going to go back to point A and start about 23 percent and it fades in that way. So that's how you do it. Now I could even use some motion. I could scale it down. to 100 percent right there could even have it move there so there you go 
All right, so those are just a few tricks with the effect controls, changing the scale, the position, and the opacity. The more effects you use on the still clips assignment, the better grade you get. So play around with it and have some fun. Now, one more trick I want to show you. Let's say I, I zoomed in on this picture. Now, I, I like the Ken Burns effect, so I'm going to choose Copy. And let's say I got this uh, picture here. Right here, I'm going to scale to frame size. But I'm going to go Paste Attributes. Now, you got to copy one that you've already done. But if you paste attributes, it automatically copies the effect controls from the previous one. Now, you can modify it and play around with it. So basically, you just got to do it to one of them, and I can I could go paste again, paste the att attributes there again, or not. But once you copy one, you can just go paste, 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 and it copies the same attributes. You might have to adjust the keyframes and the effect controls here and there, but that's it. But uh, those are some tips to help make your video turn out better. I uh, hope you enjoy them.